भगवते नरसिंहाय नमस्ते जस्ते जसे आविराविर्भव वज्रलख वज्रदंश कर्माशया रंधय रंधय तमो घस घस हो जसे आविराविर्भव वज्रलख वज्रदंश कर्माशया रंधय रंधय तमो घस घस हो स्वनाभी 
Since 2019, I was suffering from an ailment called dysphagia because of which I couldn't swallow solid food. I became very weak, very fragile. My muscles started giving up on me. I started having anxiety attacks. Before this health problem, I was a complete atheist and a little bit of agnost, but now I'm totally spiritual. I want to narrate my experience. After three years of uh, spirituality, but my disease didn't uh, heal. I tried all medications, all treatments, but nothing worked. My body started giving up on me. I became depressed and I wanted to commit suicide also. But then one fine day, I had a dream of a goddess. I thought it's just another dream, but I started having her image again and again. Then I understood that definitely there's a connection. I started contemplating upon. One night I had a dream of the goddess telling me to perform Chandi Havan. Okay, let me give it a try. And then the next day I sketched her, I made a portrait of her and then I started, uh, I invited uh, the priest and uh, we had a homum at my place offering to her, Chendi homum. And then after the homum was completed, instantaneously, immediately, I got some relief. It's as if a burden was released from me, a weight from was released from me. I started feeling light. And I don't know why I felt very hungry. I thought, you know, like any other day, I just I should just uh, grind uh, the solid food and drink. But then, no, my mind was telling me to eat. I thought, can I eat? Can I swallow? Okay, let me try. And then I put a handful of rice in my mouth. I just prayed to her and then I gulped and it went inside. I felt a lot of happiness. It's... It's the best thing that happened in my life. And I had a full meal after three years of just surviving on liquids. Then I thought, this is the purpose of my life. I started doing sadhana for her. And then I understood that her name is Kukuripa Simhaganesi, which she revealed to me. She gave a lot of revelations. But today I want to talk about uh, her image, her imagery. Amman, Kukuripa Simhaganesi Amman, she is very ferocious. She is a Tevra Devata. She is angry on us. Why is she angry on us? Because we are committing sins. We are knowingly committing sins. We are addicted to vices. We are destroying the environment. She is angry on us. So then, I understood that I have to make her happy. How? First, by pacifying or chalabarche my negative qualities. What are my negative qualities? Anger, hatred, jealousy, discrimination, prejudice, 
these are my negative qualities i have to pacify them i have to cool them down and then i have to offer abhishek my positive qualities like compassion like gratitude like service like love and respect by abhishek come of positive qualities and chalabarche of negative qualities she becomes happy and she makes us veer that is a warrior she makes us strong she makes us healthy she makes us wealthy and she bestows prosperity so if you see she has wings so this wings actually like a bird she takes us away from the cycle of birth and death she gives us celebration nirvana nibbana she makes us walk in the path of dharma and then she takes us to nirvana the eternal realization the self actualization and we become krishna the realized soul so if you see in her right hand there is amrutak amruta kalasham a pot filled with the nectar of immortality she gives us health she gives she makes us immortal she is a grama devata she is an energy of the universe and then in the left hand she is holding a noose a pasha a noose through this through this noose she binds us she binds our sense organs she controls them she controls our mind because this is the villain and this has to be tamed and amman she tames this and then the lower hands are actually holding a stringed instrument called veena it's a famous instrument in southern india she is holding that it signifies it's a personification for rhythm she sees to it that there is rhythm in life what are the different rhythmic activities we do in our life for example our heart our heart beats 72 times a minute so there's a rhythm in our heart we breathe there's a rhythm in our breathing we wake up at a particular time we sleep at a particular time we do a particular task at a particular time there's a rhythm in life there's rhythm in nature and she controls the rhythm one of her hands is holding a trunk shaped instrument this is not a trunk but this is an instrument through which she is blowing so this actually resembles the trunk the vakratunda the tandam of an elephant but this is not a trunk this is actually a trunk shaped instrument that she is blowing into she is playing the instrument this is a wind instrument this is an air, air instrument she is blowing into it this signifies that the creation started with sound the om eternal sound and then as you can see she has two tusks they actually show her face if you look at her face it is in the form of a simha a lion a lion roars you know she roars similarly she is actually beyond lion the most ferocious thing you can you can't even imagine the amount of energy during big bang and she is the symbolic element of it she is uh, sitting on a dog this dog actually represents us humans dogs are actually a symbol of faith they are the most faithful creatures that's why we have them as pets their love is unconditional similarly we like this dog should have immense faith towards kukuripa simhagane samman similar similar to this dog we must also show that sort of devotion that sort of love towards amman kukuripa simhagane si amman she is called kukripa simhagane si amman because kukripa is this dog she is the lover of the dog lover of the dog means lover of us humans she is called simhagane si because she is ferocious like a simha and she is playing a trunk shaped instrument that's uh, which uh, makes us uh, similar to a ganesha she she is actually ganeshi because she is the mother of ganesha parvati lalita triprasundari the eternal mother so you can see her portrait here you can see uh, the crochet here my mother 
she did this crochet and as I narrated about her imagery to her she did this crochet and my sister she did this painting as I narrated the imagery to her but then my purpose just started because I feel that Amman Kukuripa Simhaganesi Amman must have a temple and I request you to support me in construction of the temple to Amman because this is the best thing we can do for her and I'm telling you whatever problem you have whatever thing you're suffering from be it physiological be it psychological definitely Amman will show you the solution she is the answer to all your questions so please support my mission let's have a temple for Kukuripa Simhaga and Esi Amman please support my mission and in the description and also at the end of the video you will find my number if you're interested to collaborate you may please contact the goddess is also popularly known as Akrodipa Kukur Simha because she removes anger and all its associated demons so we would I know Krishna do Akrodipa Kukur Simha ni Chalabar Shyam Shekha we all have the capacity to become Krishna or Christ. Thank you.